G'day, I'm Jeff from Protog. Uh, today we're going to do a little test with the 5D Mark III and the Pixel King ETTL triggers. Now the Pixel King ETTL triggers are already compatible with all of the, the Canon cameras that use the ETTL II uh, format for, for transmitting the, the light levels and so on. Um, that is the 7D, the 5D Mark II, the 60D, the 550D, and the 600D, and now 5D Mark III. That will also include the 1DX. Today, we're, we're testing the, uh, the 5D Mark III. So, we've got a 5D Mark III with a Pixel King transmitter. We've got a, a Yongno 565EX for Canon on the Pixel receiver. If you have a 580EX2 or a 430EX2, they both use the new and an ETTL2 version, and they work with this system as well. Now, if you bought triggers last year or very early this year, then you will need to get the firmware update for the transmitter and the receiver. You need the February version. You can get that from the pixelhk.com website. Um, plug them in with the little USB port on the side here and uh, apply the firmware, all the instructions there. Very easy, uh, takes about 30 seconds once you've got plugged in, and away you go. So. Uh, do that to both your triggers and you'll get your, your ETTL compatibility with the 5D Mark III. So let's uh, have a quick run through on, uh, on how to control the flash wirelessly from the back of the camera. So here we go into menu on the very first side, uh, menu on, on this side, so the first of the four in the red section, uh, you go down to external speed light control and then the fourth down on there is flash function settings. You want to be in ETTL there, and you've got first, second, third, curtain sync, and so on in there. Um, now, if I uh, if I adjust the the zoom on the, um, the camera, we'll get a little uh, adjustment of the zoom length on the. Now, what you can tell when this is transmitting, you'll see blue lights appearing here and there, and we'll get a flash fire, and that'll transfer the information from here, this is the camera, to here and out through the flash. So you've got full uh, ETTL functionality from the camera to the flash. Um, you could go and buy the new Canon ST-E3 and the new Canon 600RX, it's the first time that Canon has used a radio signal to transfer the signals from one to the other. Um, the, the flashes are $700. The, uh, the STE3 radio controller is about $400. So you're looking at a grand to get that set up. Here, you're looking at about a third of that. So good, good value for money, uh, and you're gonna get the same results as using the, the new STE3 and the, the uh, 600EX flashes, and you don't need to go out and buy all new flashes. If you've got a multi-flash setup where you've already got some 565s or some 580s, you can just buy the trigger receiver and get the same functionality as spending $1,000 on the new flash and triggers from Canon. Good value. Cheers.